Hey, what's up everybody? This is CLS All in One. This past summer, I ran into some pretty big issues with bugs. My poor tree is dying due to a really bad infestation of elm leaf beetles. I discovered that under various rocks and pavers in my yard, there was literally thousands of larvae hatching that were infesting my tree and various other areas all over my property. So these disgusting little guys eventually grown to elm leaf beetles and they are super invasive and unfortunately for me they really love elm trees the larvae and beetles are crawling all over my tree eating everything in their path and completely just sucking the life out of my tree here's a look at some of the leaves on the tree and if you look closely you can see that almost every single leaf has holes in it caused by these bugs and on top of that more than half of the leaves on my tree had already fallen off due to these bugs. So because of this, I started to do some research and found some cheap solutions to make some homemade insecticide. And all I used for this was just a little dish soap with water and a pressure washer. So I actually have two recipes here. The first one is what I'm using in this video, which is more suitable for soft body insects. The mixture for this is one half cup of high strength dish soap per one gallon of water. For a more high strength insecticide for hard bodied or shelled insects, the mixture will be one cup of rubbing alcohol plus one half cup of dish soap plus one half cup of Murphy's oil soap and one gallon of water. So I premixed the insecticide, then added it to the pressure washer, then thoroughly sprayed the entire tree. And I did have to use a ladder to reach the highest areas of the tree. I also sprayed multiple areas around my property where the larva was visibly present. After spraying and waiting approximately 24 hours, I seen a drastic difference with the amount of bugs crawling around. I would guess there were somewhere around 70% less larva and beetles present. And after the first initial spray, I continued to spray once a week for about a month until the beetles and larva finally disappeared. Okay, it's now time for me to go. Hopefully this video will help you out with any bug issues you might have at your own place. And if you like this video, if you could hit that like button and please subscribe. And have yourself a great day and I'll see you next time.